During your flight training, you will learn to plan cross-country flights using multiple techniques. You'll likely start by planning a trip with a paper sectional chart, plotter, and E6B, and complete a paper navigation log with all the details of the flight. You'll find this exercise worthwhile to help understand both the purpose and logic behind each calculation. Another method is to use an electronic resource like ForeFlight on an iPad to assist with the planning process. This method is much more convenient, delivers more accurate results, and is faster as long as you begin with accurate performance information. To show you how this method works, we're going to plan a flight from Lunkin Airport in Cincinnati, Ohio, to Charleston, West Virginia using ForeFlight. For training purposes, we will still pick visual checkpoints along the route the same way as if we were using a paper sectional and use pilotage and dead reckoning as the primary means of navigation for the flight. The first step is to create an aircraft profile in your app and enter the basic information about your airplane. In ForeFlight, this is accomplished from the Aircraft section of the app. There are lots of customization options here, but for now, you just need to enter the N number and aircraft type. The other fields are used for VFR flight plans and weight and balance functions, and can be revisited later if needed. Tap the Performance Profile button to enter climb, cruise, and descent performance data for your airplane. Use climb performance data from your airplane's flight manual to find the numbers for the climb section, and the cruise performance chart to determine true airspeed and the fuel burn rate. Remember, these performance numbers will be different for each flight, depending on the conditions of the day and selected cruise altitude, so you'll need to update this for each flight with the data from your airplane's performance charts. If you have an upgraded for flight subscription, you'll have access to four flight performance profiles, which include detailed performance data for most training airplanes. These incorporate all the airplane's performance numbers from the flight manual to accurately compute climb, cruise, and descent performance data based on the selected cruise altitude and current weather. But a word of caution, be sure you're selecting the airplane profile that matches your airplane model exactly. For example, performance profiles for different model Cessna Skyhawks or Piper Cherokees can vary significantly. Next, head over to the Maps page and open the Route Editor window at the top of the screen. Tap anywhere in the middle of the Route Editor to enter the Departure and Destination Airport, and ForeFlight will draw a magenta line on the map between the two airports. Tap the Time button at the lower right to enter your planned departure time which will ensure ForeFlight uses the correct winds aloft forecast when computing the navlog. It's important to verify you're connected to the Internet over Wi-Fi or LTE during this step to ensure the app is using current weather data. Tap the Airplane button at the top left of the Route Editor and select your new aircraft profile. If you need to modify the crew's true airspeed or fuel burn for varying conditions, Tap the Profile button and update the climb, cruise, and descent performance as necessary. Next, tap the Altitude button to display the Altitude Advisor window, which shows headwind tailwind components, estimated time and route, and fuel burn for each VFR altitude option. Make sure VFR is selected at the bottom and that the correct direction of flight is selected so the correct altitude options are displayed. After selecting an altitude, you'll see the key performance numbers at the bottom of the route editor. Trip distance, estimated time and route, estimated time of arrival, fuel burn, and the net headwind or tailwind for the flight. Since we'll be flying the trip using the same pilotage and dead reckoning skills as if we had a paper sectional chart in hand, We'll next select visual landmarks every 10 to 15 miles on the chart to serve as visual checkpoints along the way. Place two fingers on the chart on the map to activate the ruler to find the first landmark. In this example, we'll use the north shore of this lake for the first checkpoint. Tap and hold on the line at that spot and tap the coordinates displayed to add a waypoint on the map. 
Continue this process until you have checkpoints established for the entire trip. You can even name the waypoints if you'd like by tapping on each point on the map. Tap Save and enter a new name at the top for the new user waypoint and press Save again. You'll want to be careful when creating these new waypoints to ensure they remain on the direct course line between the departure and destination airport. Otherwise, you will have slight differences in the course heading between each leg. You can also use the Map Annotations tool to draw the location of landmarks on the map. Now that your trip is planned, it's time to review the nav log in preparation for flying the trip. Tap the nav log button at the lower right of the route editor to display navigation details for each leg between the selected checkpoints. It's important to note that the heading value displayed here is the magnetic heading to fly and includes adjustments for both the wind aloft and magnetic variation. You will need to adjust this, though, for magnetic deviation using the compass correction card in your airplane to determine the final compass heading to fly in the airplane. When it comes time to depart on the flight, you'll want to disable the display of your location on the moving map in ForeFlight, often referred to as Own Ship. To do this, go to the main settings screen, scroll down to the Preferences section, and disable the setting for Enable Own Ship. This training technique will allow you to focus on flying the trip using the planned compass heading and by visual reference to landmarks on the ground instead of GPS on a moving map. This will help you build valuable navigation skills, confidence, and keep your eyes out the windows. You'll have plenty of time to enjoy the benefits of flying with GPS in ForeFlight after the check ride.